My parents have both been in the military since I, like before I was born. And we've pretty much moved every two years since I was born. I've lived in Texas, I've lived in Tennessee, I've lived in Virginia twice, Maryland, Florida, New York, California. We lived in Germany. Oh, in Kansas. I would have never thought I would have ended up in Kansas. I've been here for one year since last January. And I really just wanted to be a student ambassador because I just didn't want kids to feel alone when they come to Edison and when they come to a new school because I've been in that same exact position at multiple different schools and the transition is not always easy. It's kind of saddening because like you make a lot of friends and you meet a lot of people. I wanna cry, but you know, you just meet a lot of people and you make a lot of friends and like, it's kind of heartbreaking in a way because, you know, like, this is my last year of high school and I expected to be there for four years and, you know, not to move, but you know, it's just like heartbreaking because, you know, you meet a lot of people and you make a lot of good connections and, and it's really scary, like coming to a new school even when you're 17 years old, you know, you're not 12 anymore, but it's definitely hard, like, meeting new people and trying to, like, put yourself into people's groups when they've already, like, made friends, you know? So it's, like, it's hard, but once I got here, I've realized that, like, this is probably the best thing for me, and, like, it opened me up to opportunities like this, and I've made great friends here, so, you know, in the end, I feel like it's just the best thing possible, you know? So, yeah. And then this over here, all of our records that we broke. Swim and dive, track and field, oh. indoor and outdoor. And then, yeah, if you break a record, you get your name on the wall. So the student ambassadors, we're just a group here to help um, new students like integrate into Edison. We get a lot of new students with military connected families since Fort Belvoir is right over here in the Pentagon. So there's definitely a good mix of students from other countries and military kids. You know, I feel like they can open up to me and like tell me how they feel and I can like obviously relate to them and like give them pieces of advice on like, you know, how to meet new people and how to integrate yourself in the school. So I think it definitely helps when I'm talking to a new student and they're like, you know, how did you do it? And how did you meet so many new people? And I just tell them like, you know, you just have to get involved. Like, no matter what, even if you're the new student, you feel like everybody's staring at you all the time, you know, you just have to ignore it. You know, you're the new shiny thing. So obviously everybody's gonna like stare at you and stuff, but you just have to get connected and like, find the right people. One of the questions for my uh, like college career path was, you know, do you like how did you make a difference at Edison High School in the times you've been here? And I was like, man, like I really don't know what to say. But then I thought I was like, I'm an ambassador. I've helped so many students get connected to Edison. I've helped so many students find friends find events, get into clubs, and I just feel like that's the biggest impact I could possibly make, even if it's not on the whole school. You know, I know I've made a difference to one student out there, and I'm so grateful that I'm in the Ambassador Program. It's an amazing program, and I'm just, I'm sad that like I was only really in it for a year. You know, I wish I could have been here earlier to help more, but I mean, I'm still grateful. <laughs>